And Hamilton County's crime lab is changing the way crimes are solved all over the world. Mike Trippy runs the lab and is one of the most highly sought after scientists when it comes to cracking a case. He is the only American who was asked to take part in the international forensic conference which was held in Germany recently. Tonight, Deborah Dixon shows us the work Trippy is doing now that will make an even bigger difference later. Ready? Ready? Here at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Target Range, the targets are unusual. They are pieces of synthetic material being shot at different distances. So this research is important because it's a study of what they look like at different distances and on different types of cloth. We want to see if the, uh, if the bullet hole melts the fibers on the fabric. And if gunshot residue is left on those fibers, GSR is particles left in the vicinity after a gun is fired, especially on the shooter's hand. It's CSI Trimpy's ability to find and analyze them that brings international attention to the county crime lab. This is the bullet hole in the fabric, okay? You can see all the fibers from the fabric. And then if we zoom in on that bullet hole, to magnified how many times? This is 180. 180 times, that's nothing for this scanning electron microscope. It can magnify particles up to 200,000 times and tell its composition. All those bright particles on there is gunshot residue. And when we analyze in, in that little area, we get this spectrum, which corresponds to lead, barium, and antimony. And those are the elements that are found in gunshot residue. Uh, police officers are asking us, um, I have this suspect. He has a bullet hole. I think it was a shooting. You know, they're firing back and forth at each other. Um, he's claiming that he wasn't involved at all, and he just tore his jacket on a fence or something. And so they want to know, is this hole in his clothing from a bullet or not? The research done here in Hamilton County will help tell them. I mean, we get phone calls uh, pretty frequently from not just out of state, but uh, other countries as well. The research cannot tell police who shot the gun, but according to other research done here, gunshot residue is not something most people walking around town have on them. So someone with GSR has some explaining to do. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. The lab used to only accept cases within a 100-mile radius. Dr. San Marco lifted that ban, which is why cases now come in from all over the country and, as you heard her say, from the rest of the world as well.